Wings that were stacked up on a stick. Does it get any better? Super tasty and still moist. Smut. I'm Shuey and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make chicken wing gyro. Because if your wings aren't spinning, you're not having fun. So just sit back, grab a drink or two and let's get into it. First up, we'll need some chicken wings. Because pork wings just won't cut it for this recipe. Just pop them all into a plastic container and make sure when you're grabbing wings for this recipe you grab whole wings that haven't been separated. And you should know I grabbed mine from Gippsland Premium Meats. And as always we exchange cuddles for meat and I was on my way. Have you dropped into your local butcher for a cuddle lately? You should. They're people too. Onto the Euros marinade now. Add all of these ingredients into a bowl and mix them up. And then add this to the wings. Put the lid on and give these a good shake. I'm now gonna pop these in the fridge overnight. Or you could prep this in the morning and cook it later that day. Giving the wings at least six hours to soak up some of that tasty goodness if you can't wait overnight. It's time to prep the rotisserie. Attach the first stabby thing and tighten it up. Put on a glove because things are about to get messy. And then slide on the first wing, and then just keep stacking the rest on until you have a glorious lineup of soon to be delicious wings. Add the other spike to secure the wings so they don't fly away on you. Now just pop this aside while we get the barbecue ready. Today I'm using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm pairing it up with two charcoal baskets and the rotisserie attachment. Why? Because I want to be cooking at temps anywhere between 220 to 240 degrees Celsius. How I'll do that is by filling a chimney starter with unlit charcoal. Lighting it up, once it's all ashed over, I'll grab the two charcoal baskets, place them in the centre of the charcoal grill and dip the fuel into it. Then moving them to the outer edge of the charcoal grate. Don't forget to add a drip pan to catch all the oil and fat. Then add the rotisserie ring, put the motor in place, slide the rotisserie in, turn on the rotisserie. Then we're just gonna pop the lid on, opening all the vents, and we're gonna keep that lid vent to one side of our meat. And we'll leave that alone for 30 minutes before we start checking it. Did you know the word euro in English means meat cooked on a spinny thing? Chicken wings need to be reading 74 degrees Celsius internally to be classed as no death chicken. We are 30 minutes into the cook. I want to lift the lid and take a sneak peek. If that doesn't get you excited, nothing will. They're currently reading about 67, 68 degrees. Pop the lid back on, making sure that lid vent is to one side of our food. Since we haven't reached 74 degrees Celsius internally, these are still considered death wings. So, let them keep cooking. Today I'm cooking with a high indirect heat of 220 to 240 degrees Celsius. And all up, these wings are gonna take anywhere from an hour and 15 to an hour and a half to be reading 74 degrees Celsius internally. Or for those of you who love to use my beer timer, you're looking at a three beer cook. Cheers. Beer, it's the perfect side dish to any barbecue food. We are an hour down and it's time to check on the spinning rod of meaty goodness. How good does that look? A quick check of the internal temp and we aren't quite there yet. So we're gonna let these ride for a little bit longer. Just a quick tip. Stop the rotisserie from spinning when you want to check the internal temp. It makes life so much easier. And we are done. Just pull out the shaft and enjoy the sight of perfectly charred gnarly goodness. Spread them on a platter and give them a couple of minutes to cool down. You can eat the wings straight away, but third degree burns aren't fun in your mouth. Crusty charred gnarly bits of flavor. Don't tell me you don't want that in your face hole. 